Eight carpal bones exist and there are two rows of carpal bones, the proximal row and the distal row. Hello everyone and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. The proximal row or the carpal bones consists of the scaphoid, the lunate, the triquitrium and the pisiform. The scaphoid forms the radial border of the proximal carpal row. The lunate is located between the scaphoid bone and the triquitrium bone, and it lies near the median nerve. The triquitrium articulates with the pisiform, lunate, and hamate bones. The pisiform articulates with the triquitrium and serves as an attachment site for various tendons and ligaments. The distal row of the carpal bones consists of the trapezium, the trapezoid, the capitate, and the hamate. The trapezium lies between the scaphoid and the base of the first metacarpal bone and has a saddle-shaped facet for articulations with the first metacarpal and provides a site for a few tendons and ligaments to either pass through or attach. The trapezoid bone is located between the trapezium and the capitulate. The capitulate is the largest and most central carpal bone with articulations to several bones and attachments to several intercarpal ligaments. The hamate bone is named for its hook. It forms the ulnar border of the distal carpal row that serves to protect the ulnar artery and nerve within Guyon's canal. It provides attachments to several ligaments.